Do we need white one? So, go on. Pierre. Maybe Pierre. No, mind. Beastmaster, apparently. Possibly game plan here if they want to go for an earlier win. Hold that thought. Era in trouble. They're going to hit him with the root now. A couple of axes thrown on over towards Mickey, but it's not going to stop him from getting that first blood and that first stack of permanent agility stolen. Uh, is that we don't really have great recovery mechanisms this time, right? He, he compared it to last game with a TA Dusa. Any lanes with stuns. In fact, there was a big point with the. Uh... That actually we saw in the major. Oh, Boxy, sorry. Fighting in the bottom lane. Charlie, they're gonna get the stun here. Charlie, Ooh. close dying. That's a time block. He's gonna save himself very far though for Boxy. And the Splinter Blast will kill off Boxy. And Ayo gave him a lot of chances, but unfortunately he dies with a creep wave pushing. We've seen this combo too much on the Beastmaster. One, because he's super tanky, especially going for the crown first. Seems like we are we might have a... Helm. Oh, he's gonna die, Boxy. Nice yeah, kill. Boxy's... I don't think he was expecting the time block there. Nope. <laughs> a lot of bats. Just, just get stunned. Gets done with TP game, bottom. Right? Supreme is going to be ganking. Has the urn, yes, but no charges. Boxy needs to get in range of a There's tether. The Taiga can't get away. So we've talked about a usual okay, go. I think right now with Shadow Dance, he's a little bit unkillable. Um, so I think you yeah. just look to boot him out from the lane, take his tower, and start to, to try and close off his map. Oh, speaking of Chrono, it was mid lane. Actually, it's a good one. It's going to pick up the kill onto Koikva. Hmm. Okay. We actually get up to level six. Quake was going to go hunting. Vaxu's got Arctic Burn ready to go. There's no LSA for four more seconds, but there is a Laguna Blade. Hey, that's enough damage. Quake was a water. I need to stun you. I have damage. The best stun is death. Now you're stunned for twice. You know you can beat anyone in the mano a mano. Okay, so Charlie was looking for the Chrono bottom on a boxy, but there was a, a, a oh. stupid wisp in the way. And Sandy's got level six. He's positioned right behind, but a beautiful Chrono is just going to catch him. Kisses on top to secure the kill. Perfectly calculated here. And Sandy does not even get the chance to cast the ultimate. Too much physical damage anyway. Taiga is going to be here to wow. party, but unfortunately, he is only going to fall to the deafening blast of Supreme. I believe this is the right choice. If you go for the Aya, you can't relocate with someone. But Boxy will start a bit stronger, so this should be working. Shiva, the target. He has a Sento already. He does get a stomp off. Oh, trying it. The neutral. It's so difficult. The positioning by Liquid is good. However, Winter's Curse will try to reset the fight. However, the Dragon Slave takes down Shiva before he can respond to this or even run away. Insania wants to kill the Helm of the Dominator Creep, and he will succeed with the help of the Lena, who actually gets the yeah. gold here. And really, oh, they're still going oh. for more. Actually, Peksu in some trouble. Eats the Laguna Blade. He's going to heal himself back up. Boxy in a rough spot, but he's got Taiga to keep him topped up. Mickey now, who was stealing Ancients before, nice. he's going to go ahead and pick up that kill. More agility for me. Thank you very much. As he's looking to get that Echo Saber already fetched to him. Interesting play. I think they need to get a fight first because Chrono and Curse are all going to line up. We won't have Kisses yes. for another 80 seconds. Oh, they saw the ward. But uh, we still have a Primal Roar that's yet to be used here. Tornado, there it is. It's only going to catch one. But Boxy already out of position. Mickey out from the Shadow Dance, not finding any kills Chrono. now. So there's going to be a little bit of healing. Chronosphere is going to catch two. There's Taiga going to try and get the relocate out, but can't in time as Slark is already is a dead relocate. fish. Insania is going to be next to drop. And that just might be Chicken Fighters then taking the first Roche instead of Liquid. He just used the relocate. They, they had a relocate. It was just a healing list because I can't heal him back enough. So maybe that's the boost. Maybe he's trying to boost up the IO as well. Whole luck is very broken with an IO on your team. We'll see. Koikva in the wrong position. They hit him with a cold snap. There's a, immediately the dispel. We have Chrono. Tornado will stop him. Ice wall on top of that. And there's the relocate. They hit him with the primal roar right as he got relocated. I think he should be fine with a fountain. And Aegis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot fight here. Right? I mean, they can delay this, but Boxy. Yeah, he got dispelled here. They do have Chrono, but without the or. Oh, okay. The Oracle has no false promise, that's why you don't need to catch him in the corner. Yeah. That's true. You did not save him with the healing from the tether there. Taiga might still be in trouble as well as Mortimer's just coming curse. out. They actually used the Winter's Curse to try to punish Taiga. Boxy did bite back though. Walk and now it's time for them to re engage. There's no Chrono. They do get a nice Fortune Zen, but Mika has been stunned. They're trying to finish off Charlie, but the Fate Seed actually saved him for the Laguna Blade damage there. So Charlie's going to be fine. He's going for Quick, but next, they've healed Supreme thanks to the Cold Embrace. And now, Boxy might actually be forced to die back. That is not what Liquid was expecting to do. Chicken Fighters turned this supposed counter-initiation into just more kills for them. Yeah, high ground. All five heroes fully healed. Uh, once the Laguna Blade was out, Peksu could just freely throw down the heal onto Supreme to keep him alive. And Slark just knew he had to back off now. Good damage here onto Charlie. Oh, but they forced Afinsania forward, root him down, hit him with the cookie. Down he goes yet again. 
we've at least cut the waves here, uh, but the mid lane barracks have gone down and uh, as if I dissuade Liquid from fighting if they use Chronosphere and Liquid respawn fast enough to take a fight before the second Chrono is up, right? That's their concern, I think, and he's playing excellent with this. Uh, oh, Insania, he's been found, doesn't have a four staff here, gonna try and get himself to safety up onto the high ground. Boxy, Blink Dagger available in four more seconds. Oh, well, an aggressive time walk is not gonna get him a bash, and in fact, out comes the Chronosphere. Kiss is now raining down, but there's no relocate either. Insania's gonna buy back just to be able to get back uh, Boxy here, because uh, another death on him would be really putting him beyond the ball. but Supreme actually wanted to go forward. They even four staff him up, Abo. Now, as, as Insania is going to find himself in a bit of a difficult position, but he's going to keep himself nice and healthy with the Fates Edict. But up towards high ground, go Chicken Fighters. Well, well done. Uh, chicken Fighters now retreating though, and Liquid wanting to get some counter kills. There's the cold embrace, the same from the physical damage, but they might be able to go for the supports anyway. Oh, the Primal Roar Lord. with the Cataclysm, gonna burst down the Lina, trying their best. The healing's gonna keep Koikva alive. Charlie now fighting against Koikva, nice light strike array. They need a bit more physical damage. Deafening Blast will actually do the trick right as BKB ends. And they caught, caught the Oracle as well. Insania is not gonna be able to survive. Mickey trying his best with the Shadow Dance, but he just doesn't have the damage. Winter's Curse even stopped Boxy from trying to flank him, and Boxy is going to fall together with Mickey. Okay, who's not Ooh. capable of getting out. Oh, the relocate last second. I spoke too soon. Spoke just a bit that too soon, but still a huge win for Chicken Fighters. Same. Boxy kind of getting kited around the fight, wants to keep Peksu out of this fight, like, real bad, for good reason. Unfortunately, he gets kind of kited around the cliffs, and the rest of his team just falls right around him. And here's the relocate back as they're going straight for Taiga. Now Mika is super easy to kill, has no Shadow Dance. He's got the Dark Pact in a second, but is not going to be able to get it off. All five heroes dead. Chicken Fighters Did still wow. in the base. As this time, it only oh takes goodness. a fifth of the duration as game number one, and Chicken Fighters, out for blood, will close out game number two. If you still average both matches, you can average a 60-minute game, right? So I think it's still <laughs> fine. <laughs> but uh, Chicken Fighters, what a dominant performance, honestly. I, what else is there to say? Yeah, their draft was, was solid, and they knew how to execute it. They saw the weaknesses.